North Carolina, the cream of the crop in the ACC last year, expected to be the same this year in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Jason Horowitz, Steve Lapis from CBS College Sports. Glad to be with you on CBSSports.com, breaking down the ACC. And Steve, when you talk about North Carolina, you start with Tyler Hansbro, preseason player of the year, of course, in the conference and in the country. Has that stress fracture, shouldn't be a problem. He's expected to be back sometime soon. Are we not talking about not only the best team in the ACC, are we talking about maybe an undefeated team? Well, but let me ask you this question, Jason. Is there a number higher than one? No. Because if there is a number <laughs> higher than one, that's them. This is going to be the biggest favorite coming into a season, a college basketball season, in a long, long time. When you return everyone, when you have three guys look to go in the draft and they all return, you scored 88 points a game, you have over 90% of your scoring and rebounding back, and you have the best player in the country <laughs> and one of the best point guards. Boy, they are going to be really, really hard to beat. But they have they have some things about them they have to improve on, and that is their defense. If they don't improve defensively, they'll lose one or two games. Well, that's, that's the question. Because one or two games, very nice. That's the question, though, because they lost to Kansas in the Final Four, and they got blitzed at the beginning of that game. How did that happen? Well, it happened because this was a team that, again, wasn't a good defensive team last year. They gave up 42%, which for a field, defensive field goal percentage, which for an elite team is very, very high. You look at the other elite teams, they all hold people in the 30s. So they were allowing people to score. And one thing that Carolina has always relied on, and Roy Williams' teams in general, both at Kansas and at North Carolina, is they outscore people. When it comes to scoring, nobody beats them, but they've got to tighten up on defense. And the other thing about them that you give, if, if you're looking, if you're nitpicking, they only scored 17 points a game from the three-point line last year, which for an elite team is not that high. So if you want to nitpick, defense, not as good as it should be to go undefeated. Three-point shooting, maybe not as good, but everything else, unbelievable. I guess when you're number one in the country, you're just picking a little bit. Mm. Uh, of course, secondly in the ACC, if it's not North Carolina second and they're first, Duke is always the second question. Last couple of years, a couple of early NCAA tournament exits. What changes this year for Mike Krzyzewski? Well, team? you know, they really didn't change that much in the area that I think caused them to get eliminated early. They were eliminated early because they really have no one to go to in the paint when they need a two-point basket, somebody to throw the ball inside to, which they always had, like when they had Sheldon Williams a few years ago, a guy who could score and get fouled inside. Now they've become predominantly a three-point shooting team. And when you rely on threes, a lot of times you can die by the three. Now, do they have good players? Kyle Singler was the ACC Rookie of the Year. Gerald Henderson really came into his own. John Shire. Big question is Greg Paulus. Greg Paulus has been a good player for them, but I think they've lost a little some defensively. Yeah. His defense on the ball is good, but not that Duke kind of pressure that Coach K likes to put on. And we saw that problem when they lost to VCU two years ago in the first round of the NCAA tournament. All right, so after those two, Steve, the question is always going to be, Who's next? So here in 2008, 2009, who is next? Well, I think when you look at the national landscape, what most people think, most people think Miami, who had a very good la year last year, went to the NCAA tournament, have a kid named Jack McClinton, who's one of the best three-point shooters in the country, and another kid named James Dews next to him. They are a very good team, and Frank Haith has done a very good job with that team. But I think we have a significant drop-off when we go after Duke down to the next group of teams, which would be Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, who has an unbelievably young team this year. They could be this year's Purdue, a team that maybe is a year ahead of schedule because they're so young, but I think could have a great year. Yeah, and we'll talk about uh, them in a sec. We'll talk about some of their young talent in just a sec. But you talk about the big gap. Even There's an even bigger drop from maybe three through five through six, uh, through seven through 12. Let's take a look at who the coaches picked and the media picked here for the bottom six in the ACC preseason. You got Maryland, and you're talking about a, this is Gary Williams. There are people talking about that maybe he'll lose his job after this year if they don't make the tournament. They haven't, they've been struggling of late. Georgia Tech, NC State, Florida State. I mean, these are some teams. We used to talk about the ACC having the best depth in the country. Now we're talking about maybe the ACC as, as the one of the top six conferences with the least amount of depth. Well, it may be, Jason. I mean, you're looking at a league, really, that only has, I think, two locks for the NCAA tournament coming into the season, and that would be North Carolina and Duke. I think after that, you have some good teams, but those are teams that I would say have to have good seasons. Duke and North Carolina, you know we're going to be there. So when you're talking about a league like the ACC, to only have two locks coming into the yep. season, 
that tells you about where it's at. And that's tough, and it means Duke and North Carolina are going to dominate. All right, let's get some preseason awards here. A team that you think could be a big surprise. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech has a kid named Jeff Allen, who was a freshman last year, came in second in the Rookie of the Year voting in the ACC. 6'9", about 260, handles the ball very mobile, averaged 11 points and 7 rebounds last year as a freshman. This kid can make a big step this year. And they have another guy who's going to be a sophomore named Malcolm Delaney, point guard, who also could be a very special player. And, so Virginia and Tech. let's not forget how good A.D. Visayo is, too. He's a very good player for uh, Seth Greenberg. All right, team picked high that could be a disappointment. I think Miami, and I'll tell you this, I think Miami relies very much on the three-point shot, and I think when you're a team that relies heavily on three-point shooting, I always think there's a problem. McClinton is a good player. Frank A. has done a good job. But I think that's a team, you know, they surprise people. I, these teams that surprise people a lot of times and have good years, when everybody's coming after them the next year, sometimes it's a little bit different, so I'm going to say Miami. All right, what about a coach who uh, could be in trouble at the end of the year? Well, I'm going to say Leonard Hamilton. Leonard Hamilton's a good friend. He's done a very good job. But when you're at Florida State, where they have the big-time football and everything, they want to get to the NCAA tournament, and he's been so close. He really got edged out three years where they might have been the 65th team. It would be great for Leonard this year if he's one of those 64. He's been there six years. They have yet to win a tournament, or they have yet to go to the tournament at Florida State, and your newcomer in the league is Al Farouk Amino at Wake Forest. Al Farouk Amino at Wake Forest. They have a great recruiting class, and he is yep. the centerpiece of that class. Wake Forest and Dino Gaudio uh, could be a very good team this year down in Winston-Salem. For more on the ACC, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or check out our videos of the other major conferences here in uh, college basketball. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.